The detailed explanation of this particular program can be found in the video prior to this particular video in this playlist. This is just going to show you how you can use two dimensional array of characters. So I have defined the first array of characters called as months, which has 12 rows and 25 as the width. So I can store 12 months of the year and the maximum length of each month is 25. So none of them is even close to 25. I don't think anything is even more than 10 or 12. So we are fine. So what I'm doing here is first forget this second declaration. I'm printing months of the year. So when I say printf percentage months of i, what is going to happen is the address of j is passed to printf. So January is going to be printed. When i becomes 1, the address of f is passed to printf. When i becomes 2, the address of m is passed to printf. So this way all the months of the year from this two dimensional array are going to be printed. So using this particular method, I just need to initialize the two dimensional array like this. And what I have to do is I have to pass the address of j, f, m, a or whatever it is to this particular printf and it is going to print. So when I say months of i, when i is 0, I am referring to the address of January. When i is 1, I am referring to the address of February. When i is 2, I am referring to the address of M or March. So once the starting address is known, it will keep on printing till it encounters the null key. So printf will print character by character till it encounters the null key. Now what I have done here is, I have shown you one more method of creating a two dimensional array, a much better method of using a 2D array. To get a detailed explanation and understanding, please take a look at the theoretical concept discussed before this video. So here what I have done is I have declared an array of pointers. So instead of array of some numbers, this is an array of pointers. So how many days in a week are there? There are seven days. So this DOW is going to contain seven as its length or width. That means it is going to store seven addresses. The first address is going to be address of or the zeroth address is going to be address of Monday. First address is going to be address of Tuesday. Second address is going to be address of Wednesday and so on. The last address, sixth address is going to be address of Sunday. So now when I say DOW of I, DOW of I, I am referring to the address of M. So that's why when I say DOW of I, the address of M is being passed to printf. It is printing Monday and then I becomes 1. The address of T is being passed to printf and so on all the way till all the things are printed. This is going to be explained with a nice diagram in the theory or has been explained in the nice diagram in the theory prior to this particular video session. So please take a look at the video and then sorry please take a look at the prior video and then come back here. Let's just try to run this and you can get a feel of the output. So here if you see you can see here I have printed months of the year. So months of the year starting from January all the way till December has been printed using this particular for loop. Now using this pointer way of storing these days of a week, I am showing you how you can print days of a week using the pointer array. So this is how it can be printed. So you should be comfortable using this or this. I would personally prefer to use this because it is going to save memory space as it will be clear when you take a look at the theoretical explanation of this particular video.